All right, guys, now, you've locked the arm for the arm bar, but a lot of times he'll clasp his hands together and this is the clutch. And breaking the clutch is very hard, unless you know what to do. I'm gonna give you four quick variations. The easiest one. Okay, so I have the arm bar. Okay, he's locking his legs like this. This is the situation, it's, bit, it's space here. First thing I'll do is cross my feet, so now he can't pull his hand down. Okay, cross my feet, pull your hand down, Chad. He can't, not so much. I climb up his arm, walking up this way. One, two, three. I grab my shoulder. Preferably, I wanna end up if I'm falling this way here, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Just easier for you beginners. Finish up your bicep, hitting his wrist. Grab his wrist, fall to the side, and rotate out. That's number one. Number two, okay, he has a little space, but he's pulling this way, and it's hard to get in. You slide your foot through. You open your leg, and you grab his head. Straighten your leg, straighten your leg, fall a little, chop it, lock it, squeeze, finish. You have the triangle and you have the arm. The next one, here, he clamps down, you missed it, he clamps down here, take your leg, bring it over, cross your feet, clap your hands, pull. Okay, it's a compression lock, pull this way. One, two, three. The last one, the coolest one. Okay, he comes here, he's very, very tight, very tight. Okay, I switch my hands. Take this hand, put it here, and I'm gonna spin all the way up to S mount, to this mount here, right here. My knee goes against his ear, my foot goes against his head. This comes here, now. I'm not gonna fall on my back to finish the arm bar because he might escape. I'm gonna put my shin on his face, arch my hips and tap. If he doesn't tap, I'm gonna fall this way and do that rolling arm bar again. Okay, because it gives me that maximum control. Okay, one more time. Those are four finishes to the armor.